Okay, I am Cow Cow. Welcome to the channel. And today we are playing um, Call of Cthulhu, and I, I have summoned a uh, Eldritch Horror named uh, um, Lily to uh, my friend Lily to join me. And hopefully, um, we end up doing this. Uh, uh, we plan on uh, doing stuff uh, together. Um, usually, um, in the more um, late night stuff, at least for me. But like. Uh, um, it's actually nighttime for her too. But anyways, uh, we're gonna play Call of Cthulhu, and hopefully we'll have Hi. Lily with us in the future. Um, say hello, Lily. Hey guys, how are we? Thank you for having me on here, Cha Cha. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I didn't realize when you said. Oh. Uh, the Cthulhu. It was a horror game. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm a bit squeamish there. So, um. Oh yeah, cause I um I I remember you said that, and then I was like, oh. Let's just do this, and, and we'll do Mass Effect 2 later, because I'll finish Mass Effect 1. But we can do this, right? And then the next one we can do Mass Effect 2, right? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I apologize in advance, guys, if I may <laughs> spill a little. Yeah, so now i got to start a new game. But yeah, I ended up uh, privating this one, but now we can play it again, and then it will be a lot better quality as well. So, um, do I start it? Can I, like, delete this one? Do you want to overwrite the existing save? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I honestly don't yeah. think this game is that scary. I just don't find Cosmic Core to be that scary to me for whatever reason. <laughs> it's the jump scare, so I think. Yeah, there was one when jump was scare, and the only time I, when I played this originally, it was a jump, it, will, it was like, the only reason I got scared is because it, like, surprised me, but, like, it, that's, like, cheating, right? It wasn't, like, anything I was, like, actually terrified of, it just surprised me. I just, I, d I didn't watch horrors or thrillers as a child. <laughs> like, I've only, um started watching them recently yet, so it's not oh really yeah oh yeah but like honestly like the i never like found like the, i don't know why the cosmic horror doesn't scare me it's like because like cause the idea of like a cthulhu creature doesn't really frighten me it just intrigues me right yeah. it's like oh i want to find out more of these secrets but like i don't like i want to i don't like I, I never found them terrifying though Oh my gosh, so you just wake up in a, in a Oh yeah, we just wake up. With, with a shark? Like, yeah, we just like woke up, right? And like, uh, like, uh, well, I don't know what was in there. I know there's like a bunch of dead whale, dead whales or whatever. Yeah, I saw a shark. That's really interesting. But yeah, there's like three different endings. I remember when I originally played this, I, I wasn't able to get the secret ending, which is, um,. Which hopefully we can get this time. I don't want to spoil it for you. But uh, I know the ending I got, um, I think will be obvious, is uh, summoning Cthulhu. And if I screw up, because I don't know how to get the secret ending. I don't know what I did to screw it up. How do I get through here? Okay, let me go this way maybe. So how long ago did you play it? Uh, I know it was last year, and th this was when I first started, right? Uh, well, I, I, and this is, I ended up, so, like, originally I just recorded stuff because I thought that was easier, but then I realized, uh, I don't have to edit stuff when I stream, so. And I'm really bad at editing. <laughs> Where's, uh... Those, like, is it, are you looking for, like, a key? Yeah, I think I need, uh, I don't okay. think it's a key. I think I need something to break the lock. Uh, no, this is where I came from. Okay, I, I'm getting confused. I, um, I, this is just like a thing when I play stuff. I, I always get lost. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I don't know how to, uh, I remember someone was making fun of me. They're saying I was a woman because I don't know how to read a map, basically. <laughs> and I get lost all the time. That's terrible. That's terrible. I am great at reading maps. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It's like I'm I'm the female and you're obviously the dude, right? <laughs> yeah. Like we both use, we both use I'll voice change. Yeah, I mean we both use voice changers, right? <laughs> I'm using a voice changer to sound like a dude. You're using a voice changer to, um, um, or no, I'm using a voice changer to sound like a yeah, 
No, I got that right the first time. Oh, I'm trying to... Aren't I supposed to pick up something here? Let's all lit up. Oh, no, I get this. It's right here. My bad. Yeah, but, like, I have the voice changer to sound like a dude. You have the voice changer to sound like a woman, right? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, that was what I was trying to say. Um, I got the lantern. Why do you want to go back that way? Um, I got to break the lock. I'm, I'm trying to remember how to do that. Why do you have to break the lock? Uh, oh, there we go. Um, because we got to go that way. I got to get a bolt cutter. That was what I was trying to get. Oh, okay. So we end up doing this, right? This, um, I know the last time I played this, like, I special, like, my character was, um, I, so when I spec'd my character in the first game, I got a but like, I just put all my points in the occult. Which is funny, and then I, like, every time, like, I just, I had an option to do something weird, I did it. Uh, murmuring we're hearing is that Cthulhu? Is that uh Cthulhu? it's something we'll find out yeah yeah I mean we got like uh, uh oh yeah it's just giving an LT to run okay Oh yeah, we can do that as well. That's the trigger. Remember there's like a way to like, you have a lighter as well? Wait. Okay, so is your lantern on or not on? Yeah, it's on right now. Uh, I think it's because it's like a vision, right? And it's like a dream, too. There, there, see? I hate whiskey. I love whiskey. I like... Like, I only... Cause like, I honestly... I, I, I've never gotten into alcohol because I don't like the way it tastes. Um, yeah, he, he, yeah, he has sleeping pills. Oh, well, that's, that's probably not helping with the visions, I'd say. I'd give those up. <laughs> oh, it says Lil is too quiet. Let me, um, let me, you know, I have an idea to fix that. We're, uh, trying to figure out how I turn up your volume. Oh, crap. I don't know how to do it. Uh, on your platform, there's an option. You can, um, in OBS, you can... Uh, oh, I know what I can do. I can just turn up, like, the volume of the um, desktop audio. There we go. Let me try that. Maybe that will fix it. Is that better, G? Can you hear me? Yeah, we'll see. He'll, I know he'll respond. Okay, so we got sleeping pills. Uh, -huh. uh I remember, um... Oh, I can hear you now. Good. I'm gonna... How do I turn that off? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that music, uh... I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but... Uh, I don't, I don't plan to make money from cop... Uh, uh, the, uh, what was it? My, or... The way videos make money. Um, where's the phone at? Uh, Natural think... sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Yeah. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me, um, I wonder. That phone is gonna ring constantly. What do I do when I get married? A woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Yeah, this is back in the days where, uh,. Uh, that was bad, if that happened. The Wentworth mm. Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Alright. Okay, so he's not a great detective? Is that what I'm hearing? I used to be. Uh, I don't know what he meant by that. Or maybe it's just like, um, 
I don't think he meant that he was a great detective. Is that uh, they don't give him interesting jobs? Is I think was he meant. Ah, uh, okay. All right, let me um, answer the phone. Oh wait, Ooh, hold on. There's alcohol. Don't drink or have a drink. Have a drink. Take yeah, a let's shot. have a drink. Oh, <laughs> this will affect your destiny. Uh. Uh. Been a while since I jotted down something other oh. than my nightmares. All right. Wait. Oh, Pierce, Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I won't probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creatures is calling me? I wonder. This would have been good if they didn't call it Cthulhu, because it would be a mystery, right? Oh no! So like, uh, it's the um, the Call of Cthulhu stuff um, is based off the H.P. Lovecraft novels, is the oh, Cthulhu it? mythos or whatever. Yeah, and uh, yeah, H.P. Lovecraft is very interesting. Alright, so this is where we spec. I remember when I first played this, I just I put a lot of points in occultism. Oh really? Well, maybe we should do something different so we can unlock that mystery ending. Yeah, I, I see what I plan on doing instead is like like oh let's be a more let's be a more logical person, right? And maybe I can get the secret ending if I just don't believe in uh, Cthulhu. Like I just refuse to acknowledge his existence. Yeah. All right, let's get more medicine. Um, Just keep in mind, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wanna. I also kind of wanna get like psychology, maybe. Hmm. I know you don't wanna like do too many. Oh no. Oh yeah. Hold on. No? Wait. How do I take points out? Remove. Yeah. Um. um... I'm Excuse going. Can I get another point of medicine? Do I have enough? No. What happens if I do this? No, it doesn't do anything. Um, what do you think? Eloquence or spot hidden? Mm, go spot hidden. All right, we'll do one point there. You're a detective, right? That makes sense. Yeah, we gotta use psychology to do play mind games on Cthulhu and tell and convince him he doesn't exist. And then mm -hmm. spot hit on, and then we'll just we'll know how to be a doctor. And save all those sharks and whales. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's not the same thing as medicine. Yeah. Validate. <laughs> do you really want to validate these character point attributes? Yeah, I do. Oh, Mr. Pierce. What's wrong? Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases so worth? And choosing. They're worth not losing your life. Yeah, because he, he's he a lot of, apparently a lot of the jobs are boring for him. And we might keep you on the paper. <laughs> Mr. Pierce, do you still just hangs up. <laughs> I'm coming. So he's like, um That's Fuji Sector's voice, yeah. Yeah, come in Is here. Wow, well, come in here. Come in here, Sir, mister. I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say Ooh. that I expected anything but a drunkard's true? lair. Well, you call me a drunk? I only drink whiskey like... Any time, sir. Do you know I'm to almost all the time. Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to Ooh. me, it means you're desperate. And fun Nobody with... believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Oh. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. Oh, Sarah Hawkins! Yes, everyone knows. 
unpassionate way. The police accuse her of My killing her family. Is dead. They all died in a fire. <laughs> Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would oh. never have done such a thing. But if you have no Maybe proof, she's mad like I've he's brought mad. all that I have. Yeah. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Yeah. We'll just jump in it like it's uh, Super Mario 64. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to find? Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, She's on the great contrary, artist. you manage to detect some logic, <laughs> the first thing that comes a to rationality mind. to follow so that uh, I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. I mean, it's like, oh, I'll tell you what the art means, and we just give him like a like That's some like got. bullshit <laughs> answer, like we're I an art critic. File on your desk. It contains yeah. everything I have on the affair. Wait. Examine the painting. Look at the painting. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, we got investigation. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide mm. the feeling of dread it carries. Hmm. Is a very good painting. The diary. That isn't the diary. Uh, what is it? What am I looking at? Oh, was it Pierce? No. Why was it telling me to look at it? Oh, here we go. Art of Sarah Hawkins. Um, intuitive and visionary artist. For some overpriced imposter. For others, Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes to the world. If her paintings are a testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal to, uh, open to other dimensions. A extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. Uh, these are clues. That's our lighter. Uh, oh yeah, because uh, I think uh, Detective Pierce. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I think paper on the desk would be the next clue, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's knowledge. I don't know what the knowledge is. Yeah, let's look at this. How do I look at it? A warehouse on Darkware. Some She's sketches sure of the Hawkins. Oh, get little to read some? Okay. Rather thin. Okay. So, Mr. Pierce, Ooh. what do you make of these elements? <laughs> um. Uh, we got this one because we have um, investigation professional. Her husband was a big Maybe deal. Maybe ask the but the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Um, okay. Maybe ask you must question. tell me. If what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. I never like knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Uh. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Yeah, I remember I had a very creepy dream last week where I just felt like extreme dread from it. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'll private hide this and wake up. Yeah, I'll no. tell about it to you after stream. I guess you're not as clever as you think then. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Uh, where did Sarah Hawkins live? Dark War. Never heard of it. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. You must uncover it. Yeah. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. 
Find warehouse 36. Yeah. Okay, that's all the information. We just asked this one. I think Let's do that I'm one. beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. Who sure, um, I'll take the case. Yeah. Who calls their daughter Dark by their full name like that? <laughs> Yeah, we gotta, like, uh, find clues, like, uh, this is a Scooby-Doo mystery. Something's cool. <laughs> Raggy? But it's not like I have I'm a gonna choice. be Velma. I love Velma. Yeah. I know a lot of people like Velma. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. Right. I'll no doubt find some information on this island. Oh, we have a book on it? Is this it? Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. All According right. to this book... It was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. All right, do you want to... Oh, let's wait till he's done. Do you want to read that part of it, Lily? On the side there? Duckwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century, and it's still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidence evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of a long abandoned cave. And was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous <laughs> I can't read it. My tumultuous. Tumultuous time. I think that's oh, how you yeah. say that word. Uh, story of this small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, in this stream, uh, we learn how to speak English, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, uh, All I have to do is go to the port. Increasing one's I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, God. like, uh, man, that's, uh, like, um, I, I, that's one of the reasons I hate reading stuff. Cause uh, I'm really bad at reading. Natural sciences. Look, oh, you know th this is you know what my motto is. Um, what I think, um, Lily. Yeah. Re you know, reading is cringe. You don't need books because uh, you can just think your own thoughts, right? That's how you get original. That's how you get original ideas. I love books. I'm a reader. I love it. Oh. I grew up reading, loved it. All right, so tumultuous. I looked it up. So it's making an uproar, loud or confused noise. Yeah. Or excited, confused or disorderly. Oh, it's cool. Fancy word. <laughs> we got a book on medicine. So this is the only way how you. So when you pick up that you find these books, because like normally you can't, um, you can't level up medicine through like or occult by doing um by um lot like getting the points like there's like a there's sort of an xp system in this game but you can't use it for a cult or medicine right you have to um find these in order to level up those skills so we got a medicine okay. book oops can i pick those up that's no that's kind of cool yeah. i used to be an avid reader there might be one that's like an occult one somewhere here i want to find it so did I. Um, this investigator and I are bothering on a whole nother level. Whiskey, loves to read. What else do Natural we have Natural sciences, with, right? linguistics. <laughs> oh yeah, theology. see like I only, I only like whiskey if it's mixed with like root beer. It's root beer. Uh, root beer is like an American soda, right? Um, it's funny oh. though, and this like kind of, I, um, I remember someone, uh, saying this. Cause they went to Europe and then they had um, someone, they, like I guess someone from Europe tried it and they said it's like it tastes like toothpaste. Ew. But that's that, Ew. and when they t said that, I realized because it's like one of my favorite sodas, right? I used to. Be I don't know if there's an occult book in here, but it's one of my <laughs> favorite sodas. 
Um, but I realize like they're actually oh, right. It's like sarsaparilla flavoring. Um, I'll look it up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if there's an occult book here. I don't think there is. Maybe it's just medicine. We call it sarsaparilla. Yeah, I thought sarsaparilla was um like more like Dr Pepper. No, no, Dr Pepper's completely different. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's leave. Um. Yeah, so it just it says here. I just googled it, and it says here, um, root beer and, and they're the same thing, sort of thing. Yeah, but um, um I know, like, I really like A and W root beer because it. it but he was like, it ended up like, a, a, like, kind of making me a bit upset because I realized he was right. It does taste a little bit like toothpaste. Enter madness. Let's go. There you go. Well, if I'm ever see a can of. A and W, I'll uh, give it a go, I guess. Oh yeah, Sometimes like it, I know, like if you and um, Deeth ever come to the states, um, they used to have a and a lot of A and W restaurants. I don't think there's that many of them left. Um, huh? I I think I know where one is. Um, so what? So what makes an A and W restaurant? Um, it's a brand, uh, so, like, the A&W is the root beer brand, but, it, like, they, they used to have, like, fast food places called A&W. Okay, so they just serve burgers and stuff, right? Yeah, they sell, like, burgers and fries. Um, I know they it's used, okay. like, there, I don't think there's any more Bob's Big Boys, either. No idea what that is. <laughs> um, it's, like, a restaurant chain. Okay. I know your KFCs are different from our KFCs because my mom's in the US at the moment. And oh yeah, I remember Deeth telling me a funny story about his uh, uh, his wife uh, getting really mad at uh, the workers at KFC. Why? I don't. I forgot why. I think it was like poor service or something. Oh, that happened. <laughs> the KFC. Um, yeah, the... really bad. Well, I know in like <laughs> Deeth's game, and Deeth's game, basically like the the inn we're staying at is basically mm -hmm. a KFC. Oh really? Oh yeah, cause um, that was I don't know. We ended up doing that as a joke, cause like uh, I forget the guy's um name, but I know it was like there's like part of it was chicken or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, when, uh, he, so, like, my character ended up spending money, like, she kind of, like, His gave him a little bit to too remote. much, and then he ended up, he's like, oh, yeah, you can get, like, we're gonna give you this, uh, roast chicken, um, a bath, and, like, and, and, and like, so, and other, so, and, like, wine, right? So, like, he's basically Colonel Sanders so, as the innkeeper. Brought you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Does the Hawkins case mean anything? Oh, there we go. Nope. Uh, and we're back on the case. Story. Yeah. What do you know about <laughs> Sarah Hawkins? Hawkins may have Let me pull up my manacle. Yeah. Uh. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. Wow. This looks like you know a what? terrible place to live. Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. I don't know. Like, I always found places office, like this next to the coast. Uh, I have a pile of documents. I mean, if it wasn't obviously understood. run, uh, uh, had a Cthulhu cult in it, um, I wouldn't really mind living in a place like this. Because, like, I remember in World of Warcraft... Um, whenever I had a mage, because I could teleport everywhere, right? I'd always, like, <laughs> make my, um, Hearthstone Booty Bay. Because uh, that was, like, oh my, my favorite God. city, aesthetically. Yeah. Oh, that means you're a Horde player, yeah? Uh, oh, I played Horde most of the time, actually, yeah. Um, oh, well, I even if I was an Alliance player, I liked making my home no. Booty Bay. No. But, obviously, on, oh, but that was only oh, if I was a mage. Then. But yeah, I really liked um Blood Elf Paladins. Oh, I have my um my main is the Blood Elf Paladin. Oh, um, you too? 
Yeah, yeah. So you uh, like I it. like see I'm like a kind of like a paladin purist when it comes to the horde. Oh. I do not She's think minotaurs favorite. or um uh or any of the uh the lesser races of the horde should uh Yeah, I don't think I don't think it makes any sense for a torn to be a paladin. I'm going to be honest. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. Why not? It died a short It's time. because uh I think only blood elves should be paladins because they're a refined race, and whenever I think of a paladin, I think of refined uh, people. Something real bad. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Don't put that beast back in the water. <laughs> um, but, well, I believe paladin as a class was only bought, was bought out because of the blood elf. Yeah, well, I know their quest line back in Burning Crusade was awesome. Oh, yeah. The. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was. Yeah, let's talk uh, to this guy. And going back to what you're saying about mages. Mages were. OP in WoW. Yeah. I remember playing before it was easy to transport places. Now yeah. it's like you get on a Zeppelin or you go through a portal and you go from places. There wasn't any of that. So you really wanted to be questing with a mage so you could just cast a portal and go somewhere. Yeah. So Hold on. Let's, let's, read the, let's read this um, text real quick and then we'll continue cool. with that. They seem to be very agitated oh. about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think they're putting the whale back in the water. Yeah! It's about the end of the world. <laughs> they're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Because I told you. Accept some friendly advice. Ominous. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You yeah, get out of here. <laughs> in the water, you shysters, you're crazy. <laughs> Right. Oh, medicine. Go back to the web. Go back to the web. There's an oh, medicine idiots. symbol. Oh, yeah, I clicked on it. I don't. I already clicked on it. Oh. So much damage. Oh, I missed that. Sorry. My bad. Yeah, no worries. It's weird that I could click it on again. Okay, go. We already. What is it? it? Says go to the bar. That's a secondary objective. I want to do that. But yeah, like the mages. Um, I want to learn how to play a mage if I play again. Cause like, oh wait, hold on, it's cutscene. I had a mage was my second character. My primary was um, was my paladin. Yeah. But. Oh, that guy's not liking you. Yeah. Keep the stink eye back. <laughs> Wait, why do we do that? Hey, be careful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we did that. Ooh. Um. Uh, I, I remember liking her. Let's get him another drink. Try. <laughs> I thought the stink eye would have been we don't much more appropriate, drinks. but no, we went to. Yeah. <laughs> Physical altercation. <laughs> uh, it's a test of strength. We're not skilled in any of these. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Mm. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Hmm. No. Uh, there's no okay. prohibition around here. Ooh, let's order a drink. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. You want a drink? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Morin's. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Yeah. This will affect your destiny. What low your IQ? I think we'll get along well. Shorten your life expectancy. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, if I make it to fifty, uh, that's going to be an achievement for me. Oh, this will affect your destiny. <laughs> We're just making it worse for ourselves. Um, no prohibition around here. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. Yeah. I'll tell nobody. 
She'd know it anyway. Yeah, because uh, she's sitting in the yeah. in the tavern like we just saw her. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me about Sarah Hawkins? What can you tell Why me? Why show We all ah. knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then. Interesting. I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Uh. Uh. Psychology. Ooh, I know we're professional with that, so we can do that probably. You don't dare say a thing because you respect their memory. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a lot on your mind. <laughs> You're not a PI for nothing. Okay. I don't know what it's worth though. Oh, but Mrs. Hawkins, she went to see her doctor very often. She was sick. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have mentioned it to like you. Forget it. Town. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's go I've back. Got what I need. Anything else? We know the paintings are strange. Yeah. Can you tell me about the Shamu? The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can oh, I tell that's the you? end name. I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. Huh? The name, it reminds us of the Kinda golden that age of Doc Wilde. Well yeah, that's what I thought it was, it was referencing. Came back, sweating <laughs> and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if we can order another drink. Uh, I don't, I, well, like, we only got one pick-me-up, right? It's, it's like the freebie. I don't think he's going to give us another one. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins warehouse. Yeah, the Hawkins. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here mm -hmm. say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its mm -hmm. owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Uh, the <laughs> uh, I don't think he's gonna tell us about it. That'll be oh. all for now. All right, let's go to the cool. bar. Oh, we still drink. have to talk to Fitzroy. But yeah, I remember. I like to go to a bar and get a free drink. That would be awesome. Yeah, I really like this lady. She's pretty cute. What you looking at, stranger? Man, what you looking at? What you looking at, stranger? Look at those gloves. They're very steampunkish. Yeah. And that. Yeah. Is it a cigar or a cigarette? Yeah. I wonder, what do you think we should, um, should we, how should we, like, oh, she can certainly put them away, right? That would be, like, a compliment, yeah. right? Because she's able to hold her liquor. Um, I mean, that would be a compliment, so right? You have with women. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, you're a real-life female. Um, would this be a compliment? I would always assume it would. No. no. Not really. Oh, would it? <laughs> Maybe for a certain class of woman. Oh, okay. Just try it. Try it. You know, it's it's an, uh, nothing at all. So I'm gonna get us. Uh, well, I felt like this would be like a little bit insulting. It's like, oh, what what are you? What's a woman like you doing in a place like this? Oh, oh what year is it? Is it meant to be? I feel like it's. Which one do you want me to pick? Uh, let's go with the one you said. We'll see how she responds. Oh, this one? I've rarely seen a woman away. who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Oh, no, she doesn't like it. <laughs> so what? Let me drink, stranger. Man, yeah, stop, stop, try, stop trying to flirt with me, you weird, you weird, you weird gooba. I, I told you it's not a compliment. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, who is this guy? Do you like our song? Hey, do I like a song, stranger? Two Simons. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. Yes, go it's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Uh, well, the end of whaling. Wait, the oh, the oh, end of whaling. Oh, that one. 
Oh, what's that song? And what's the end of whaling? You, you, what happened? Oh, the animal rights activists said we couldn't hunt them no more. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Hmm. The end of what? Oh, what was that happening uh, to the end of Waylon? Oh, wait, what? I thought we were going to hear a song, like, from Home Free, you know, like, the sea. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, they just sing, like, the, what is it, that one song yeah. from Journey. Um, I forget the one. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was the one where, like, they're talking, it was, like, the boy meets the girl from the city or whatever. I forget the name what of the song. The whale, of course. The they all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. Ooh. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Mm. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. <gasps> no, good night, stranger. Can we see this? There's that thing framed on the wall, they said. The news, news clipper. Oh, there's a news? There's something on the wall where? Isn't that what they were saying? Just just turn back to your right. Um, Near the door. There was a... Oh, it was on the door? There. Like outside? Yeah, so turn right. Turn right. No, no. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, keep going. There. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's it. Right. No, this is the Chantry. The miraculous... Camp. Oh, no. Okay. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Ooh. All right, I'll read this one. The, oh, it's not even Chantry, it's Chatty. I don't even know that's how you pronounce it. The Chatty, 21st of May, 1847. Miraculous catch. The Cilia returns to port to save dark water from fam uh, famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Cilia, or what remains of it, returned to dark water port. Late on Tuesday afternoon, the locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. There we go. Uh, wait, where's the door? I think it's over here. Yeah, back way. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can. Okay. How do I? I know there's a way to. That's where the. There we go. That's how you get your lighter out. That's, that's the, what do you call it? Yeah, the harbor master. Oh, it's Y, there we go. Yeah, the harbor master's in here. I like how I'm, like, giving all the locals, like, uh, they just sound like goblins from World of Warcraft, and then... Yeah. And then I just, uh, <laughs> pretend to be Christopher Walken. I'm like, oh, no! Hey, Fitzroy! <laughs> what are you doing? I brought out the Charles oh. Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. Found. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When no. You're done, come join me on the deck. Okay. Wait, where do you... Oh, it's over here. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. And that's all I'll get from them. All right. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Okay. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Cool. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Yeah. Uh, like I want to, like, make sure I click on everything, because we might, like, find something on the occult or medicine. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to yeah. say about this woman, Cat. Oh, you read this one. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. You keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payments to the crew. Carrier. Half. 
Yeah. Sir. Where's uh? There's probably s no. We can't get upstairs. There's something in here. Ooh, there's a book. Uh, I think they need a new hobo master. Yeah. <laughs> be the learning of right. medicine, volume two. The second volume teaches <laughs> ethics and good practice uh, to medical staff. I guess that's the mm -hmm. one that like uh, unlocks the uh, the Hippocratic Oath or whatever. I think our medicine leveled up just there, did it? Uh, mm, I don't think it did. Oh, we have one CP available. Um, what do you want to level up? Hidden spot. Oh, spot. Oh, hidden. spot hidden. <laughs> trying to get it up higher. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. It's three. Um. Yeah, we should focus, like, on these three. Like, Investigation, Spot Hidden, and Psychology. I think. And then we'll just have these be our dump stats. Dump hidden. Wait, uh... Do you want to quit without... Uh, no. Um, let's validate. Let's, uh, see our sanity. Uh, sanity. Stable. Okay. So this can, like, get worse and worse throughout the game, by the way. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. The goal is to see... Well, I don't know. I think for, like, the se the ending I want, you have to have, like... I don't know how hard it is to do. I don't know, like... I'm assuming maybe you have to stay sane. I'm not sure. But that's boring. This <laughs> man and Fitzroy could be twins. Yeah. Photograph of Captain Fitzroy. All right, I'll read, I'll read this one. In the photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of the ship. He has a wooden leg. It's a clue. All right, is there anything in here? Nope. Okay. What a macabre souvenir. Wait. Oh, wow. Apparently the lighter has a... Oh. Okay, I could get it out again. I don't know why he put it away. Yeah. We haven't found a book on the occult yet. Okay, I already searched that. Yeah. We're not we're not finding about about Cthulhu. All right, where is he? Oh yeah, you said he was out on the boat, right? Yeah. going where's he out oh there he is from here i see everything that goes on in the harbor the hard-working lives of my sailors the fights of the stranded whale even the antics of these war rats don't escape me it's you who lays down the law around here oh i wouldn't go that far i'm just the last serving captain on dark water tell me what i can do to help you Okay. Mm. What do you think the is it Fitzgerald's other kind of full strength by the sounds of that letter? Yeah, I mean he has some kind of power. The documents are unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Alright. I thought the fishing stopped in 1847, so we unlock this somehow? Let's do I'm that. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins uh. family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. Why did I end business. up hearing the thing on Discord? No, someone's messaging me. Oh, no. I don't have streamer mode activated. No. Okay. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> oh, no worries. Um. Uh. Well, maybe it's because we're in a call is why I can hear it. 
Okay, ask him about the warehouse. Uh, oh, no, I think we want to do this because I think this will progress it. Wait, what was that? Didn't we already talk about the warehouse with him? He said to leave a bee. I think that was someone else. Um, but we can do these, right? Um, the photograph looks strangely yeah. like you. I was looking at your photograph. Ooh. One of the man in front of the book. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Yeah. I saw a killer. I saw. Oh, it is a killer whale. So it literally is Shamu. He just wa Shamu just washed up on the shore. I'm just back from oh, the wharves. No. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Um. Who would have killed it? Okay, who would have killed it? Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around yeah, here. Kill but, else. um, <laughs> you're gonna take kill me for a fool. Real. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches? I mean, there's a reason why they're called killer whales. Creatures unlike any other. You're talking about brutal. They hunt in packs. Uh, like indeed, you're right. Well, oh, yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they'll try and attack a human, too. I wouldn't put it past them. They eat seals, so... Uh, they might yeah. confuse a human right. for a seal from time to time. Why are they well, putting it back into the sea? The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. All right, return. Um, what is the miraculous catch? The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. We already did that. Who is Cat? I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. <laughs> Are you being yeah, black? stop rifling through my Not stuff. Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay. <laughs> oh, that shyster. With any success. <laughs> I wouldn't I'm say that. Someone it up but she scared. terrifies my <laughs> men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I got an idea. I'm gonna summon Cthulhu to stop her. Um, okay, now we can ask about Warehouse uh, 36. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Okay. Understood. You That's know who the building thing. belongs to, don't you? Uh. Ooh, oh, we can do that. Um. Uh, you underestimate me. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Uh, that is weird, because there's like one option. We unlocked, that we already had, but like, I don't understand why that is like, just basically the same thing. Um, I think it's like, would it be just in case you leave and you come back and you've forgotten? Like, if you saved the game and then left and... Yeah, maybe. Just so that... Oh, where's the warehouse again? We could just like, oh, you know yeah. where it is? And <laughs> we just told us. Uh, I shall be on my way. So come back yeah. and see me when you've got something new. All right, let's go. Oh, we got one CP. Um... Ooh. I wanna. Do you get CPs just from talking to people? Is I that... guess so. I mean, we can't see like see we can't put I think it here. We should go spot hidden because if we're gonna search the warehouse, it's where we're gonna get the most clues, right? Yeah, but like um, cause like I think you get stuff from spot hidden, but like investigation is really useful too. Okay. Okay. Um. 
to you. Yeah, we can do spot hidden though. Let's do that. Um, do have to? Oh no, it's fine. It's still a useful skill. Like, let's try and get spot hidden to four, right? Because they're all the same, right? And then I think the next one I want to do is maybe psychology. We'll do spot hidden and then we'll do psychology. Um, right, validate, right? Oh yeah, but now we have time to talk about mages. Yeah, I've never been good at mages, but like I remember, like wasn't it like in classic, like you just had to spam frostbolt, or like in vanilla? It depends, it depends on what type of mage you are. Like, yeah. If you're a frost mage, yes. If you're a fire mage, no. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, and then I guess what expansion? I guess that's to. Yeah, I know it like. Oh, I know, like, in uh, Burning Crusade, uh, Warlock oh, was, I like... I mage. I know I Warlock in, like, uh, Burning Crusade, like, it was, like, Destruction was the thing back then. And then, um, I think it was yeah, mostly just Spam Shadow Bolt, right? I played... I did have a Warlock. Uh, I'm not a super Warlock. Oh, me neither. Somehow, I was, I was able to get the green oh. fire during Mr. Fandaria. Saint Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers, desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. I actually want to look up who this is. Um, now that now that I know he's a Catholic saint. That's interesting. It's written in a language he doesn't understand. Oh yeah. And they look like symbols. Yeah, I don't know if you can still interact with it, even though like you don't, because we only have like one in occultism, right? We know nothing about the occult. Oh, that's true. That's right. We went down this road, didn't we? <laughs> Oops. I, I can't believe... I could have swore there was like a... Ooh, can we get in here? Oh, yeah. So investigation can also help you pick lock. Ooh, I might do that instead of psychology. There. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So... We can just stumble our way through Wait, why is it Ooh, spot hidden? Can you take yeah. Hello, old friend. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we just bought some liquor, or just stole some liquor. It's gotta nice. have the drink on top of them. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think I only got, like, really drunk once, and it was, like, at medieval times. And uh, this is, uh, I had, like, mead, right? Oh, I can't climb up there. Okay. But I had mead, right? And, uh... I... See, I didn't know mead was, like, very strong in the alcohol at the time. So I had, like, um... Two glasses, and that just got me wasted. <laughs> if you don't drink often. Yeah, I remember, um, the people there got mad at me because I may have gotten sick on my way to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Uh, who are you? You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Uh... I've never done such thing. Uh, who is St. Brendan? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Mm -hmm. Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Mm. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Mm. Uh, no. Who are the guys? There's two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. Dumb. They're protecting their territory. <laughs> From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Oh, we can do that. 
I think we already know who Cat is. Who's Cat? Is Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on, just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing ah. at all. <laughs> all right. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. All right. <laughs> You see nothing. You see nothing. Yeah, nothing to see here. Wait. No idea. Can I... You better keep it shut. <laughs> well, uh... we don't have a clear conscience. Why I love that. What's with you wandering around Coming here like stuff? a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Is soaks meant to be like an, a derogative term for a drunk? I don't. Wait, what? It, what's supposed to be? Soak. Thuggers? Uh. They called them soaks. Oh, soaks. I don't know. I've never heard of it. Might be a long yeah. time ago, maybe. Um, hmm. Let's do this one. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Yeah, get out of here. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now we don't give a damn about yeah. you. Whatever your reason yeah, for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I'm wondering if I can like bribe him with the alcohol. Um, yeah. Reckon. Well, yeah, I can't do that because I don't have eloquence. Uh. uh. Just try. Yes. Yeah, so. What's the worst you can She's do? She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's basically like uh, the Joker tried to get in. Maybe. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how I got these scars. Um. Is it you who just face the statue? Oh yeah, let's see that. Where, where is that? Is it you who do face the statue? I went to see the statue of Saint Brenda. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? You really are scared of this cat? She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Why do I know? Oh, okay, that didn't do anything. What does this belong to? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Yeah. Wait. I think that just is a repeat return. Yeah. Uh, let's just try and lie. Gentlemen, you have a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it. You think he's telling the truth? <laughs> we'll find out. Prove that you really know Cat. Right. Oh, I can prove it. Uh, she can certainly put them away. Well, I've rarely seen anyone who can hold their liquor as well as her. Everyone knows that. What? That just proves that you've seen her in the bar. Not that you know her. She's the lady on, in the pub. It. No. There enough of you. Go. Oh no! Oh, we gotta figure I can't out how to get do. rid of those two. I'll have to look for another way. And we have to. Have... Hmm. Okay, so now I don't. I have to figure out. A... I know. Last time I played this, I just convinced them to let me through. I like going here. Yeah. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife <laughs> under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. 
I wonder if like we can blackmail him now. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's try that. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two. Oh, wait, does it just uh just skip it? Uh, no, there's nothing new. Okay. Wait, how do, it's not letting me. There I we go. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. All right, let's, let's. Uh, if I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Let's try over here. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. Where do you think you're going? I'm sure we've missed something. Can we? Yeah. Let's just talk to this guy. Um. There'd be different ways to get in based on your stats, I imagine. Yeah. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Ooh. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it! Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. Ugh. That case was closed months ago. Uh... Who oh, are these you. others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Uh, we're on the same team. No. That won't work. What an interesting hairstyle. Oh, Balls him? On top. Mutton, massive mutton chop beard around the back. Oh yeah, I know my uh, my dad, my stepdad has basically the same thing. Well, not the beard, but the uh, same type of hairstyle. He's bald yeah. on top and then just leaves the side. No beard though. I remember my stepdad had a beard and I I thought that he looked better with it, combined with him being bald. All right, it may be related to my case. I'd like to know more about the Hawkins case. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, no. Uh, no, he says. <laughs> what do you Keep know about the Hawkins friend. case? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident is affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Oh, Keep wait, hold on a moment. Leave him well alone. All right, go inside warehouse 36. Okay, that just did nothing. Oh, I need, a, I need to actually drink some apple juice real quick because my thing was beeping. Yep. Take that. Gotta get the, uh, the finest uh, apple juice. Oh shit. There you go. Oh. I love like diluted apple juice when I'm, I'm sick. A doctor recommended it um, once. He was a bit more of a natural doctor. Yeah, I really like uh, apple cider. Like a job. Oh. Oh, I was talking about apple juice. Apple cider can be really different. <laughs> I wouldn't drink apple cider if I was, I was sick. <laughs> oh, you don't like apple cider? Uh, I had a bad experience when I was at uni. <laughs> um, I like oh, no, the cider. apple cider I'm talking about is an alcoholic. Oh, you mean, um, yeah, oh, the apple cider. No, <laughs> um, no I, I can't say I drink that kind of apple cider. I put it in cooking, but that's about it. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's something I want to <laughs> tell you about apple cider after stream. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm done drinking the apple juice. Oh yeah, like um, I know this place that has apple cider that's really good. All right, uh, there must be like another way uh through. Let's like see if there's like a hidden. I think I can get through it here. If uh, I remember right, I thought like maybe there's a because like obviously mm -hmm. like I should be able to climb up like if I were to get up here somehow. Like it doesn't let me go there though. 
Hmm. Maybe there's like a door here, right? Oh, something we can find here. Was this where I got the alcohol? I mean, it was. Yeah. I'd assume I could like. The Ooh, there's something here. Hmm? A key. Cat show knows about the thefts from her stock of liquor. She'll soon find out who it is, and I wouldn't like to be in her shoes. Mm. I've now got proof that goons steal from this <laughs> Are you, uh, took some liquor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I can blackmail her. Wait, wait, didn't they wouldn't, like, be in her shoes? So does that imply that a female was stealing the liquor? Wait, what did the note? Let's read the note again. Maybe I read it wrong? Did you say her? Was it dark water? No. Clues. That was the threatening letter. Where was it? Okay. Scribbled oh, note. Cat knows about the thefts from her stock of liquor. She'll soon find out who oh, it is. And I wouldn't shoes. like to be in his... Oh, so I just read it wrong. Okay, that's okay. Okay, his shoes. That's all good. Ah, uh, no worries. So who's stealing the liquor? Do you uh, need the guards? Yeah, it was. Because it said goons, right? So now we got, like, proof. What's with that you would explain why they keep like going back to the statue. You saw you yeah. To the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink yeah. less. All right, I got. Yeah, what? It, it would be a shame if uh, your yeah. boss found out that uh, you've been stealing from her. What yeah. will Cat say when she finds out that it's you who are filching stock? You've got no proof. That's <laughs> true. Apart from this little note from your friend. You didn't throw it away? I couldn't know mm -hmm. that someone was gonna force the lock. No. What a f So what is it you want? To get into the Hawkins warehouse. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Go on then. Let us see. And we never want to see your rat snout again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it'd be a shame if uh, something happened to your kneecaps. Okay, um now we got access to here, right? Yeah, we figured it out. Yeah, you um, with your lighter. Yeah, we <laughs> figured it out, Lily. Wait, what's oh, here? What's that? Wait, this... Ooh, okay, I thought this was going to be... Oh, do you have the strength to move it? Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I don't know if this was like a show. Perfect. Um, in Australia, but when I was like little, oh, like my favorite show was stinks. Blue's Clues. Did they have that? Do they have that there? In the Sarah Hawkins case. They do, but it's a different person in the show than what it was. Well, yeah, back when I watched it, it was uh, Steve, but then they replaced him because he was like going to college. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. What, the reason why they replaced him is because he, he was addicted to, like, meth or crackers or something. And they didn't want that for, like, uh, they figured that out. And they didn't want him for, like, a child so. And they replaced him, sadly. Um, but yes. There was a massive rumor going around that he had died. Oh, is there? Ages. Yeah, yeah, but he's not dead. Yeah. Oh, so and then I think it turned into a meme. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> because of that. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Yeah. So now we have to like reconstruct everything. Oh. So did Sarah Hawkins die in here? Is that what happened? Mm, we're gonna find out. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. What's here? Oh, this is medicine. This is what we're good at. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. It smells as bad as it looks. Okay. Ooh, this is for psychology. The glass is shattered. Like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Yeah, this game is Blue's Clues. Basically. Yeah. How did you go? Were you good at Blue's Clues? 
Clues, Blues Clues, yeah, oh okay, Blues so Clues. <laughs> you know what you gotta do, you gotta think. <laughs> think. <laughs> think. <laughs> what is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins <gasps> doing here? I don't remember the whole song, but I'm I remember that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna watch the new Blues Clues. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> yeah. Was it even well? I know they replaced him with one guy. Is that still? Is he still there? Is he still the guy with blue? Or with blue? I believe so. I'll quickly look it up. I don't know. Is there anything else? I don't think so. All right. New clue memorize the Hawkins warehouse. Let me know when you find out if he if he's still if he's still the one. Wait, was that all we needed? Yeah. Ah, uh, Josh is the new Blues Clues guy. Someone has settled in. Was he the guy that replaced um? And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Ooh. Yeah, he um you, don't move. You again. Replay. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. All right. Threaten the police officer. I, we're not strong enough to do that. Uh hold to test psychology. Mm -hmm. We're good at that. Let's team up. Yeah. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to we be are. taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Ooh. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? I'd like Did you to have understand a team up in how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is on a minute. Down the way. Okay, what, what was that you said? Would you please shut the door? Uh, did you Don't team you up with the officer down. in previous run through? Right uh, I think you always team up with him. God damn it. Her again. Yeah. Ugh, it's cat. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat Ooh, to see them ouch. down there. <laughs> Who are you? Come on, keep the smile. Wow. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? How Who the hell are you? To what were you doing on my turn? Hello, mythical. I've got my eye on you. Ooh, little cow gremlin. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? I need another apple juice, I think. <laughs> Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. Yeah. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Ooh, way up there. Hmm. Hmm. Why would you want to fix her, Dee? She's perfect the way she is. Mm. Do you want to read the, the chapter thing for chapter three? Uh, Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. Uh, the place uh, thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted in his search by the officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. And the police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Oh, I scrolled down. I can't see. I didn't realize I can see people chatting. <laughs> Hello. I am so mythical. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, see, he has the I scar think... there, right? He's 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 the guy that uh, she ended up cutting up.
Who was? Uh, the other police officer. Because, uh, like, if you see his uh, face, there's, like, a scar next to his yeah. mouth. Well, here we are. Yeah. Hawkins Mansion. Wow. How do you do that and get away with it? <laughs> uh, having power. The place has been abandoned since the fire. Being part of the elite uh, lets you get away with it. And uh, Cat is part of the elite of this island. Crazy. Okay. Ooh, we got two things we could probably do. Um, I thought the mansion burnt in a fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. Does that mean the daughter and the husband died as well? Are we gonna take a closer look at this man? Uh, yeah, that's uh, what the newspaper report says, right? Yeah. Investigation. You know this place very well. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. I'm sorry, you found it on Cat's land, like, property. Turf, as she calls it. Good. Nice. Love the class-based <laughs> social uh, structure. Wait. What do you got here? You're not the first to talk about Winchester. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. <laughs> You managed to get something out of that bomb. I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a uh -huh. son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. <clears throat> so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to go up there? Uh, this place is falling into ruin. Uh, let's not waste any more time. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Uh, yes, except. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. After uh, you, Officer Bradley. Let's yeah. Go. Man, I'm hungry. I need, uh, I want to, like, put something in the microwave and, like, get something. Because, uh, yeah, like, I um, I, I <laughs> yeah, um, cause I have, like, some shrimp and some uh, vegetables that my taco mom made me. Oh. Uh, I would say delicious, but I can't eat seafood. <laughs> oh, you don't like seafood? I'm intolerant. Oh, uh, allergic. I know my my grandma's allergic yeah. to shrimp as well. Not hypophylactic sick, but like repeat sick. <laughs> yeah. I just can't keep it down. Uh, you know, like uh, part of me like really hopes I find like uh like if I ever have an updating someone. Part of me hopes they're allergic to, like, peanuts, right? Why? Oh, so I can, like, if they say, like, oh, I'm allergic to nuts, right? And I can respond, oh, are you allergic to these nuts? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's such a bad pickup. Uh. I just want to say that, though. Charles Hawkins Jackie, I love it. <laughs> Who could have done this? I told you. Oh, Silas Winchester dear, is still Jaja. watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. <laughs> so, detective. Not where I was does expecting this place that to go. Any thoughts? Yeah. That's how I, uh... That's probably, like, that's how I get the females, you know? Especially the one that are allergic to nuts. <laughs> 
You don't want that because you can't have any nuts in the house anyway. That is <laughs> true, good. and I love peanut butter and stuff. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, such a strange and final resting place. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he devastated. Uh, I've seen enough. Let's go to the mansion. Oh, I've seen enough here. Please Let's go somewhere me. else. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. I remember um, seeing a picture of one of my friends that I played World of Warcraft, uh, sp uh, my friend Nubs. And I remember he, I, from what I remember, he kind of looks like this guy. Minus the scar. <laughs> yeah, I like my friend Nubs. <laughs> so you could probably convince him to play the Joker? <laughs> uh, I don't think he could... He, I don't think he sounds like the Joker. Uh... <laughs> Joker, though. Yeah, I like I, I know I have um like Yeah. Well I know he has a, he did a video a long time ago of him playing Hearthstone. I'll have to show it to you if you know what he sounds so you know what he sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> but he's like one of my best friends. I I've known him since like um 'cause we've been playing WoW together since Mr. Pandaria. That's how long oh. I've known him. My blood sugar is like still low. It's forty six. Mm. I'll have to find another entrance. Uh, Let's get another apple, apple juice. juice or a jelly bean. Did you manage to see more of Shogun? If not yet, you sh you should. It's great. Sorry for derailing. Oh uh, no, uh, no, I haven't. I I do want to see it though. I um. I've had it good. Yeah. Well, like, I saw it, and it, like, uh, um, I, like, I like the naval. I don't know if all of it was naval. I assume, because I remember in the beginning, uh, the guy that looked like the dude. Yeah, it wasn't the guy that, um, uh, was, uh, what was it? Aragorn and Lord of the Rings. I thought he looked like him, though. Um, v Vigo. Yeah, Vigo. Vigo. Waiting, mm -hmm. Or something like that. Mm. Allah, he's such a great actor. Yeah, I liked everything he was in. You know how most girls fawned over Legolas? I was like, Aragon. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember there was like... This girl um, I was in middle school with. Yeah. And she was obsessed with uh, Orlando Bloom. Really? I don't think Orlando Bloom's that good. <laughs> Don't <laughs> uh, cancel me for saying that. I really don't. As an actor, I just. I oh no! I for, I don't know. There's not enough depth in these characters, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't. I forget. She was either interested in Orlando Bloom or Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp got typecast pretty quickly after um after Pirates of the Caribbean. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, part. I need a my blood sugar still low. I am and I'm gonna quickly put yeah. that shrimp and the steamed vegetables in the microwave real quick. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I'm Ugh. hoping to have some stew. To be honest, I can. Oh, oh, yes. I'm gonna have some stew. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. So you can have your shrimp. I got my stew. What are you guys eating? Have you eaten already, Mr. Fufu? And the question of the day is, would you prefer lamb stew or shrimp? I've... All right, I'm back. 
I'm just saying, um, I've just got my stew. Has been just delivered to me. Delicious. Oh, awesome. Oh, speaking of stew, because, like, um, I know, um, uh, uh, the Fed, or Bucky, um, was, um, he was, um, he ended up, you, he's always, like, giving me advice for stuff, right? Hmm. Was, uh, and I remember, so he ended up telling me um, to stop being a savage and not use a yeah. pepper jack cheese and triscuits for, um, for, uh, what was it? Um, I'll be eating pizza later. I, mean, I love pizza. Uh, but I, I, he would, he would always yeah. tell me, he, he told me to stop uh, being dumb. And uh, eat like um, when I have cheese and crackers. Use um, what was it? Um, Ritz with like um, either um, Gouda cheese or Munster cheese. First of all, you should be eating country cheese biscuits if you're gonna have cheese on them. <laughs> yeah, but he was like, um, yeah, you like gotta uh, have, like, Gouda cheese or Munster cheese. Don't stop using Pepper Jack. This entrance is still in use. Hmm. What's the second one? Uh, um, he said Gouda and Munster. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa. What's Munster? Oh. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir. All right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like thing. you? We got them. Dump them into the ocean. Who's this guy? This uh, my friend. Yeah, he's the he's the caretaker of this You're place. Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. He's he's the taco mom he, I'll here. I'll show you how we have it out oh. on dark water. Oh, oh crap, I am timed. Uh locked answer, eloquence. Uh unlocked. you haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. Have you noticed that all these The police report describes a domestic accident. Like they've seen but Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. <laughs> yeah. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation. I forget who I know who has a similar face to, to this guy. I know, um... No, I can't let you in. The uh, mansion isn't safe. Oh, however, they're That's female, too. Or they're, the like, older. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Hmm. Oh, investigation. You should re you really you shouldn't really need this key. No one lives in the mansion and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin. Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Are we talking okay, about human then? Mm, I'm <laughs> not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Yeah, Let's we're gonna go kill some uh, uh, rats. For him, some rat folk. I'm gonna pause it real quick. I do think uh, my food's done cooking. Be right back again. Ugh. Mmm. Yeah, what type of pizza are you eating, Mythical? Oh, what are you planning to eat? My favorite is blasphemy. I love extra pepperoni with pineapple. Alright, I'm back again. Delicious. Oh. We're talking about pizza. Yeah, pizza. Mythical's gonna have pizza later, and I was like, what type of pizza are you gonna eat? Homemade pizza? My favorite. I put um, apricot cheese on my homemade pizzas. Oh, you want to, you, so, uh, speaking of, I was actually going to talk about this. Um, like, Bucky gives me great advice. I gave him this recipe. He said he couldn't eat it, though, because he's trying to, like, lose weight or whatever. 
or whatever, because he's like, he's a, uh, apparently he's like a uh, really fit. But, um, I am. Shall we but I have this like recipe for like a, it's like a pizza chimichanga. Do they have chimichangas uh, in Australia? Nope. You don't know what no, a chimichanga no, is? No. So imagine a Frito, but a, not Frito, a burrito, but fried. Okay. What? No, it's like a Frito. Oh. It, not Frito. I don't know why I'm saying Frito. It's burrito, burrito, but it's like fried in a frying pan. Why would you fry it? Let's take a look. Um, it's just like a. That's what a chimichanga oh, is, I've, though. Sorry, I've had something similar. Sorry, my um. Yep, I had something similar. Maybe yeah. Time. Yeah, but yeah. that's what a. That's what. Uh, that's all a chimichanga is. It's like a fried burrito. Okay. But yeah, so like I had um, so like I I had this uh, recipe for like a chimichanga, but uh, instead of like normal like stuff in it, imagine uh like a pizza themed one. Follow me, I know the place. All right. Who left this light on? Oh, we got uh two CP. Oh. What Character. are we gonna spend it on? Uh, I know we're getting the next rank of spot hidden, right? Oops, that's wrong. Uh, one. If that's what you want. I well, no. We wanted to put it in investigation. Um, no, we wanted to get the fourth rank of spot hidden, and then we're going to do investigation. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. We're not there yet. Uh, oh. One CP needed before next uh, level. Painful. Yeah, we're just barely there. I know um, Bino is like showing me Brazilian pizza, and it like uh, a lot of it like it's very interesting the way it looks. <laughs> All right, what are we looking for? What's Brazilian pizza? Oh, it's very interesting looking. It looks like like the crust is just a like essentially like a, like they just use it for like the plate, and then they put like. I saw some of it and it looked like 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 something for like dessert with what they were putting it on. Most medicine. What kind of meat is this? Mm, what kind of meat is it? Some uh, weird looking meat. I already do all this Brazilian pizza. It's yeah. Really interesting. I like to try diff lots of different foods. I'm such a foodie. Yeah, investigation. This Me place too. Is for the head of the family, Brazilian. Charles Brazilian Hawkins. Pizza. It's Charles Harkins, but then, uh, yeah, like I remember, like, um, I like uh, my my my. Oh, they like crispy pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like a thin base. Yeah. Kind of. My mom kind of wish I didn't like to like I was more picky, because um, cause like my my cousins right they would always order like chicken tenders where like I would like be weird like as the weird kid I'd always want to try the weirdest thing. Like escargot or like squid and stuff, and my mom was like, oh, "I wish you didn't like you were afraid to try this stuff because it's expensive." <laughs> That's investigation. My nephew was probably um, here. It, Smashed it, his it's plate like on that. the floor. It's pretty cool. Green card. Yeah. Mom's, his mom's very supportive of it, which is yeah. great. Well, no, my mom was like, my mom was just kind of like saying it as a joke that yeah. I had like really expensive tastes. Sarah Hawkins. At least didn't you know eat. what you like. <laughs> Was it because of the meat? Better than kids that don't eat, I guess. Yeah. Well, I like escargot. Like, it tasted like sauteed mushrooms to me. Alright, we. Time to leave the a reconstructed scene. Okay. Yeah, so we ended up figuring out there's a fight, basically. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Too mm. busy to talking about food. Oh, no, no worries. Well, no, it's like it's on top of it. Like, there's this weird creature that um, looks weird, and we don't know what it is they're eating. It's some probably some weird eldritch creature they caught, right? You know, and then just eating an alien, essentially. Uh huh. It's like, oh, it's. You imagine, like, the alien lands on the planet, and, like, you, like you, the, pe Working, the people nice. find it and just eat it. This dinner table tells like, it's roadkill. The Hawkins family life. Yeah. Well, we don't have all hey. day. People eat whatever they can get. Yeah. I just looked out. So when I went to, like, go grab my food, I realized that it, um, the sun's out now for me. Uh. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, Let's see if I can find to bring Ooh, the there's the another side. mystery. It's already too late for the hmm? There's another mystery. We gotta reconstruct the area, this area now. But yeah, I also was uh, making these other things for snacks because it's a little bit easier than the um, the chimichanga thing to make. Right. And like, all you gotta do is um, you get like the sourdough bread, and then you just put the pizza sauce and the mozzarella cheese and the pepperoni on that. And okay. you just put it in the oven for like twelve to fifteen minutes. Do you make the bread yourself? The child's corpse. No, it's just the bread I get from the store. The yeah, yeah, fair point. It takes a while to make it, so. Yeah. I'm not that experienced in cooking. Mm. They had a fight. Yeah, so they smashed I like the lamp. Making to do a bread. You but, like um, it takes eighteen hours. Oh uh what bread? Siobata. Oh, I don't think I ever heard of that bread. Did it stop at the time of the fight? Am I pronouncing it right? Maybe it's pronounced differently. No, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, like, I didn't even know what Munster or Gouda cheese was until Bucky told me. Is this something here? It was a shoe. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? Um. How? Oh. Yeah, yes. Uh, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> Is there more? Ooh, here's something. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Yeah, sorry, Mr. Cooper. It's my fault he's up so, so um, early. <laughs> Our timing. <laughs> yeah, it's good bread, hey. I love it. And um, I started making it by myself. If the painting I found on the docks really again, came from here, love it. how come um, it didn't burn? But yeah, it takes a little bit. It's more the, the not making it takes that long. It's like... You know where you let it sit and do its thing <laughs> with the yeast. <laughs> yeah, I know like, one of my friends. I know one of my friends sent me a uh, recipe for the sourdough bread. Yeah, he must have a. Wait, is that alcohol or is it the sleeping pills? Let's see. It's alcohol. Oh, it is. Good drink. Yeah, I guess he has um, a drink. I would never do if you got a culture. I don't have a culture, so. So what happened? So dad got drunk. Mom looks like she's defending the child. No, that's her on the table. Oh, oh. She got okay. pushed onto it. Oh. Um, I haven't discovered everything yet. So, like, anything the in the ground. fireplace? You can't see it. Anything there? Who's that on the ground? Who's stepping on? Oh. We already got that. Um, yeah, that's the kid. Oh. Oh, there's a painting here. Oh no, that doesn't do anything. What are we? What are we looking for? I don't know. Yeah. Get the pick. What does that mean? Wait, what? The the bottom left hand corner. Yeah, I know that's checked. I think that's so we spotted something extra that we might not have been able to find. Uh. Because it's because we have like the spot hidden that we found it, right? What happens if I leave this room? Oh, here we go. Did someone escape the fire? Ooh, so someone survived. Okay, so now we can oh, so leave it. Dad caused the fire. That... Someone did. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. Mm. Yeah, he was on fire. Flee. Yes. So did he? Did he set fire to himself, or did the? Did he, the, did maybe he was set on fire by Sarah Hawkins? And the boy. Mm. Oh, so 
So, I detective. Go. Oh boy. What do you make of it? Um. The clues don't match. Much of this evidence simply contradicts the investigation's findings. Really? Tell me about it. Um. He meant to be bad in the end. Who? Him? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I don't remember Just him being, being bad. <laughs> uh, well, no, he, cause he, 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 I remember, remember like before he was like, oh, I did this cause reasons. I get, or I don't know. I forget. Cause he was trying to look for the painting, right? But he, I'm not sure. Cause I think he like wanted to hide it just for now. Uh, just because the family's honor or something. I forget. Um... Okay. So the fire was an accident. Somebody escaped the fire. Bodies were displaced. Oh, you'll yeah. see. Someone escaped the fire. It seem at least one person fled the crime scene. What'd you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slid down there. The left side has no mark. The door was open and that someone left. For God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't buy it. Oh, yeah? Um. So we can do all these. Alright. Uh, someone had too much to drink. I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Charles sure liked their drink. No glass. I suspect one of them drank heavily to calm down. Charles, most probably. That's pretty thin. Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? Um, the bodies were displaced. I can tell where young Simon yep. was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization? By whom? Marshal Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that, you know. So... Well, all right. Time of the fire doesn't match. I was under the impression the fire started around midnight. Yes, at Silas banged on our door around 1 a.m. Poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out. This clock burned before 10 p.m. That's impossible. What you imply? Silas never would have hurt the Hawkins family. Besides. Dr. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already have stopped. Um. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, you don't find that suspicious. Anymore. Honestly, you don't find that suspicious. That's troubling, I have to admit. But I trust Silas. And Dr. Fuller is an authoritative figure. The mainland folks are damned envious that he's here with us. A brilliant surgeon. And a friend of the family. I'm sure he took the matter to heart. I see no reason to doubt his word. Oh, I so could not think of anything worse Let's move than on. to have to do an autopsy on somebody that you would consider family. That'd be so hard. Yeah. I suspect this lamp caused the fire. That's what the investigation suggested, too. But does your report mention the bloodstains? The lamp didn't fall, it was thrown at someone. For heaven's sakes, no. The report doesn't mention that. Uh, the fire wasn't just an accident. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> <laughs> What's your theory? Uh, a couple had a fight. This is arson. Um, crime of passion. A couple just had a fight. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? Uh, There's only one way to be sure. I would have picked the last one. Crime. Yeah. I don't think that is the case, though. We got that last uh, thing we needed. Okay, they get the fourth rank of spot hidden. There we go. So we'll work on investigation next. Yeah. There we go. Um. Consult the diary. Wait, I just asked that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Wait, he would be in trouble? Would we be in trouble, though? 
He would be, we wouldn't be. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. We got another book on medicine, I think. Awesome. Let's see what our medicine is now. Oh, it's still two. Uh, we're an amateur. Yeah, and we're, uh... We are learning from books. Yeah, <laughs> we still haven't found a book on the occult. <laughs> oh, so you can find occult books? Yeah, that's the only... So the only way you can level up medicine and occult is by finding books. Uh, These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? Uh, interesting. Can we go up like this way? Blood from oh, it's blocked. From ladies. Yeah. What's the name? Cat's place. Same thing. Had bandages of blood. Wait, did Cat have bandages on? Yeah, no. In on in her property, there was like by the sink where they. Smash the mirror. An original edition oh. of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Yeah. Gosh, so many books. Hey? Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm just like going near them because it's like, oh, maybe I can pick one of these up. I wonder. What do you know like, about Charles Hawkins' activities? Do you ever activities? think they read them? Or well, they just there to look much read? I don't know how you would read we all, all those books. The Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. Well, I know, like, back in the day, like, um, this is a thing I always thought was weird. Well, this, well, I know when I DM games for D&D, &D, like, if someone finds a book, that book is worth a lot of money. Right? Look at, look, look at the table, turn around. They've got teacups mm -hmm. with a bottle of wine. Is that like... Like, are they pouring the wine in the teacup? Oh, that's weird. Oh, you're right. I thought that quill was like a salami yeah. for a moment. <laughs> this is really odd. <laughs> if you're right, the sun survived. You should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Yeah, maybe. That's a good one, mythical fool. Ooh, there's a book here. Um, <laughs> Moby Dick. Yeah, yeah, Moville's I think so too. Classic. It's more of a status. The epic battle between man and whale. Well, think about it. Before the mass production of printing, that's exactly what it would have been yeah that's why um i think like if you're playing in a setting that doesn't have the printing press books are worth a lot of money if you find one and you can sell it for a lot probably hmm. oh we're still investigating the manor i thought we were following him this piano is in disrepair looks oh. like the hawkins kept it more for decoration oh. than for music Oh, uh, you know what? You might have to look up the solution to a puzzle soon for me, uh, uh, Lily. I, I remember there being a puzzle in this dungeon. Or not dungeon, well, but... Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it first. And then yeah. a couple of Okay. Yeah, I remember it was like there's a combination to, like, go somewhere. This isn't where we're... Where are we going? I know, um, I thought I was following him, right? Ooh. Mm. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Oh, I wonder if that's what was happening. I see, like, I saw the spotted thing pop by when I went near that book. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what the spot hidden thing does. It's like, it lets you know where, like, if you're near a clue. Ooh. What's this? The human body. Is this yes. a medicine book? I assume so. Looks like yep, there we go. What are we? What rank are we? We're still rank two. Okay. Gotta read a lot of books, eh? Yeah. What? Isn't like six years of training to be a doctor? A very basic doctor? This place was falling apart long before. Oh, yeah. I remember uh, one of my friends growing Ooh. up um, is actually. I think he's almost done going to college for being a doctor. But one of my, like, best friends, um, we were, we met in, like, Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. I think he's actually my oldest friend that I, and he's, like, one of the only people, like, I still talk to. There's, like, him and my other friend. Maybe you gotta talk to the guard again? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's just because it keeps, like, there's a highlight spot up here. On, oh, you spotted it when I went up here? Yeah. Can you go up here? Oh, I can go up here. Okay. Here you go. Okay. All right. Let's uh. Ooh. 
Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692. So it looks like they were the families lacking that seceded money. from the New England colonies. They said because the place was falling to pieces. Yeah, but the thing is, is like they're a rich family though. Uh, Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the well, dead. Well, is that just what Tartarus, we're told, or the mother of? Sarah. No, because so um, so Sarah people. Hawkins, like she married a rich uh, whaler, basically. Dark water history. Yeah, but then this why would they let the place go? Break, you know, fall to pieces. By two families that sense. seceded Weird. from the New England. Uh, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Mr. Fool. So rich doesn't mean money on hand. Yeah. Yeah. There's something disturbing about this painting. There's something mm -hmm. disturbing about this painting. Uh, oh no. What does that painting look like to you? It looks like a bunch of stuff like swirling around, like a thing of bones and a. But like they're like um, it's like in it's like in an, it's like on a small island with the notion of blood. What does it look like to you? I see like. I don't know, I thought maybe land of rocks and, you know, is it meant to be the ocean around it or something? I don't know, it's not very clear. Yeah, because, like, the way the the things are shaped, it looks, it looks like, like a... Yeah. Locked things up. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, the... the thought, right. <laughs> yeah, because the, the rocks there, they look like a ribcage to me. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I wouldn't have said disturbing. <laughs> That's a description for the 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the, the deep. Uh, you know, I don't know yeah. if me collecting these books are a hint. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, Maybe. so, so, yeah, it's spotting when I find a clue here. Crowbar. A crowbar found in Hawkins Manor. Probably belongs to the caretaker Silas. A crowbar. Could prove useful. Oh, I think this is like what we can use to get through stuff, maybe. Can you not open that door? Wait, was there's a door? Oh, you're right, there was. Can I open it? Nope. Okay. Mama. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, was this where we came from? Uh, we came from downstairs. So. Yeah, this oh, was, yeah, this is where those things were. Blocked us. Yeah. So we haven't been here yet, because getting up here was blocked by the debris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's any uh, books on uh, the occult here. No. So it's like the middle of the night for for me. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you need to go to bed. By the way. Yeah. Oh, we could probably go for another half hour. I think. Yeah, no worries. I have I have my own mini Cthulhu who likes to get up really really early. Yeah. <laughs> the boys' room. Oop. It's the little boys' room. Oh, reconstruction. Yeah, I don't know. Call of Cthulhu um, is basically like a walking simulator, and you just talk to people. It's, I really Charles like it though. From what threat was Simon? Oh, I forgot to say this. I oh, I really like. I don't know who the voice actor who voices Detective Pierce, but I think he's the same guy who voices Lord Harkon in the Dawn Guard Skyrim DLC. Um, you mean this voice? Yeah. It's, it's, um, Liam Neeson. It sounds like. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. It doesn't sound like Isn't Liam it? Neeson to me. No, maybe it doesn't. I just know I the voice. It, I think it's the same voice for Lord Harkon. He plays the main character in the Vampire game. Uh, sleeping pills. Yeah, medicine. Sleeping pills. Strong for an eleven-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? Yeah, they're giving. They're just doing uh, what, um, how I grew up, where I had to take a bunch of pills. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Oh Some wow, is this the kids' drawings? Family problems. Huh? That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Yeah, they gave their kid a bunch of SSRIs. 
<laughs> this is dating. <laughs> uh, see, that thing's going and showing up. Okay. The little, see the question mark? That must mean there's like something here, right? Oh, like a special place. Ooh, I see oh, it. Here. The yeah. argument yeah. that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Yeah, you're right. That spot yeah, hidden thing is general. useful. He seems worried about his mother and her. Dad. Oh, crap. I didn't know we were going to read it. My bad. It's okay. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing in there. there. Okay, so that's checked. That means we found it, I think. Yeah. And that disappears. So it's like, oh, there's, you know, it lets you know if there's. Oh, ooh, there it pops up again. Okay. Office key. Let's go, let's go. I want to see what's up here. You don't want to go in that door? Well, I don't know if I remember. Let's actually save. There is no saving. Damn it. I was going to, because I know one of these doors. Um, I forget if it's the one down here or up there, but then it, it, it goes to a cutscene and you can't do it anymore. So I'm going to guess it. That, it looks like there's a monster in that room, judging by this grates along the wall. This door is locked. Oh, never mind. We can't go in there. <sighs> yeah, um. What will her room reveal about her? Ooh, okay, so it's beep. It, the thing's going up again. Barbiturates. What thing's going up? Sarah Hawkins must have the been... Green icon, the green icon. You see the um, green exclamation mark in the corner? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's from the spot hidden skill we have. Oh, so I don't know how that word is. Barba two rates they act as a depressant, depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that, I know something. Okay. All right, it's still that. Exclamation point is still there. Oh my gosh, isn't that that, um, what is it they used to take? A barbiturate prescription from a certain... No, they, they take something back in these days? Like an opioid. Oh, maybe. Like an opioid. Like, uh, morphine? Yeah. Oh, maybe that's what it is. You read this one. Dr. Thomas Fuller, Riverside Institute of Dark Water, Massachusetts. Date 0721-24. 7... 75 milligrams of M. How is that? Amobarbital sodium uh, to be taken for every four to six hours. Wow, as required. If attacks become too violent, add 25 milligrams of benarobarbital. I could never be a doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Up to three times a day. Do not consume alcohol or any other medication during this period of treatment. Dr. Thomas Fuller. Hmm. Yeah, um, I... That's, that's oh, a mess. Go ahead. Incredibly dependent. Like, is it, is it an opioid? Is that... I don't know. I just know that language, like 25 milligrams. So back uh, in the day when I used to... Um, well, I know I had to take a lot of medicine. And I just... I, I remember I just like um, a few years ago, I was like, wait a minute. I'm not... I don't... I'm not actually sad about anything. Yeah, so no. uh, I don't need to take these pills. You know, but I remember when I would go see the doctor, I was like, oh, increased by he'd always like mention to my parents like, oh, uh, try this with this many milligrams with like stuff like Depakote and stuff. OK, I'm assuming it's the dad that survived. Yeah, because if they found the ba the child's Perfect. body and it was cut away, but mom and dad were missing. Yeah, so it, it's pointing that the dad survived. And then he's somewhere. Ooh, if there's a <laughs> book on the occult, it's definitely in here. There's a magic circle over here. Okay, D thinks that the mom is the monster. <laughs> Maybe. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Yeah, we don't need to read this because this is just uh, numbers. Oh, yeah, they, that's a lot of money back in the early 1900s. $820, that's a lot. Like, a, I know, like, a dollar back then would be, like... Wasn't, like, a dollar back then, like, the equivalent to, like, $100? Because, like, I remember people would use, like, uh, 
like coins a lot back then. Like, you know, like maybe a soda was like 20 cents. It seems the last one was given for free to a Cuz I know gas cents. back then was like a dollar maybe mm -hmm. or like it was, it was like like a hundred dollars to fill up your gas tank like it is now in American so funny money oh what do you think I'd like despite what happened they seem um, to have loved each other saying murdered soul suspect has the same voice I think and you'd like it probably had to look for the name to go off oh as the as detective Pierce yeah I always liked how um, uh, Harkon's voice sounded in Skyrim. All right. Oh gosh, more scrape marks. Well, th this um, this game takes place in the 1900s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it'd be the um, whatever things were then. I don't yeah, think yeah. we use the current currency we u we use now in America in the 1800s. They ended up changing the way up. stuff looked. Can you go up the stairs now and open that door? Like, is it? Uh, maybe. Let's something? try. Yeah. Nope. This door is locked. I think I missed something in that room. No, it says everything was found here. What about here? Oh, I didn't do this. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the? Occult? Yeah, I investigate everything but the magic circle. Oh, there's nothing here. Yeah. Okay, mm. game saved. That's weird. I don't know why he just puts the thing down all the time. It's dark. I need to see. Oop. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's leave. Maybe try the door again. <laughs> Bradley? Oh, I'm so $20 or $50? Gotcha. It's a little... Oh, oh there, open it's now. open. It's open magically. Is anyone there? Mm hmm. Yeah, because they didn't use, like, you know, the, um... The, you know the green dollars we have now, Deeth? In the 1800s, the, the paper money we had back then looked different. I don't know why we changed the way our funny money looked. Mm, these vegetables are really good. <laughs> it's a painting of you. Yeah. We're the chosen one. The money has changed for security. Yeah. You. All right. Stop. We're chasing someone. Catch the thief. You're really slow. Yeah. I don't think I run that fast in real life either. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Up. So you saying up? Go oh, up where? It was it up this way? I know he. I think he ran this way. Well, the police office is this way. So you think maybe not? Maybe around the corner. No, I don't think we're... That'll just lead us back upstairs. Maybe it's the way he's facing, right? I'll cover you. Yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. So you may switch mm -hmm. from the light source to another. Oh, so... Yeah, we can do that, right? But the lantern has a limited thing, but it lights it easier. This door was closed earlier. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, what door was closed earlier? The one ahead. Oh, okay. Like this one we go through. I don't think you searched this area. Oh, maybe this was closed. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. Ooh, I'm gonna switch to this because it doesn't have a 
limited amount. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Yeah, man, that one guy on the one side, he he looks like the default RuneScape uh, player character thing, but with like sunglasses. But he also looks really creepy with them. Um, in this photograph, Charles Hawkins and Captain Fritzor are posed with the third man. They seem close. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. As if the bookcase has been oh. moved several times. Yeah. It's a secret package. Let's go. Yeah, so this is a secret door. I know the puzzle is, is to open that, and I remember I couldn't figure it out last time. Seems like this came from a log. You want to read this one? Monday, 24th of May, 1847. 24 N70W, Darkwater Island, sailed north all morning. Captain Hamilton is confident. He says that we'll beat the Ophius this season, or Orpheus. Mm hmm. May God be merciful. Sunday, the 30th of May, 1847. I preferred it when when the whales disappeared without a trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. This is eat, uh, what is eating these huge beasts. I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen and he doesn't care. Mm. And then on the 1st of June, 1847, we dropped anchor near a village and the inhabitants say that the waters were red with blood of the sacred beasts and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that only, uh, I only feared God Almighty. But in the loneliness of behold, I'm scared. 4th of June, 1847. Uh, we have sighted a huge whale in the distance. Its size seems to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. 23rd of June, 1847. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many of this? <laughs> We've caught it! It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes on. It will go into memory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died. But we have gained glory, and this day will be celebrated for years to come. <laughs> on the 29th of April, 1847. Dark water. We have beaten off returned with empty holds and is it Celia? Yeah. And Hamilton are only memories. Uh, I'm so glad you got the longest one so I didn't have to read it. Okay. Cheers, buddy. I lucked out. <laughs> okay. Change your live message to all. What does that mean? This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Uh, yeah, so this is the thing. So we gotta like... Basically, the puzzle is, is like a coordinate. Yeah. And, yeah. Doesn't work. I don't know what it is. I must have missed something. Go back. Um, well, what are you trying to look for? Um, I'm trying to look for the coordinates because that's the solution to the puzzle. There's nothing in there. It um, looks like an old seaway map. So yeah, this is why I know nothing about uh, reading maps. Um, maybe you since got, you're good you at reading maps. I'll, I'll let you look at it. Maybe you could solve the puzzle. Okay, so why don't you select those points on the globe? So if you go back to the globe... Okay, do you know what the points are? Oh, the book tells you. It says here the book tells you. Um, do you say? Looks uh, like the navigational paths described in the log. Maybe that book under Oh, the okay. So we have the log, right, as clues? Uh, th there's a book under the lamp. That might be it. That's the painting. Uh, well, can we like open the go. logs again? It just say in front of you. Where was the book we picked up that had the logs? It looks like a freehand map of dark water. 
Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. Map of Dark Order has drawn by Charles Hawkins. Some places have been circled. New clue. Oops. Well, maybe that map had the clue, like that um, set on. Link oh, this is it. So, so it's, is it one of these? That's what we just write out. Oh, so maybe this is the combination, right? Is you have to do these like in order? I can't remember all these numbers. <laughs> all right. Do you are you good at remembering? Um, I put a pen and paper. <laughs> yeah, write these down real quick. Might be a, a way to. Just real quick. Okay. So we got forty two N to seventy W. Yeah, and then it's forty seven N um to fifty five West forty nine North. Deep is saying the map. I'm gonna, I just, I just want to write these down before we check it out. Sorry, 57 North, 51 West. Wait. Yep. Oh, you got them all? Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah. 33 North, 53 West. Beautiful. Yep, okay. The map, the map, the map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Mm -hmm. All right. Are these, well, I know it's probably one of these, right? All right, let's try them. So, you know how to read a globe? Mm -hmm. So where do I put it? Because I don't know how to, what the, the numbers mean and where I put them. So, so. Forty two north seventy W. So where's forty two I assume is somewhere up here or how where how do I tell what this is? I'm not used to reading a map like this. Hold on a moment. Let, let's look at the map and then we can see where it is on here. I must right? have missed something. Like where forty two north like the navigational paths. Described in the log. Where I don't see the 42 North one because the text is small. Do you, which country is it near? Give me one second. Oh, 40. I see 42 North and 55 West. That one's near the U.S. Let's try that one. I know it's, it looks like it's near an island. Maybe that's dark water. Okay, so you want to. Alright, so go back to the globe. Okay. We'll just try. I know this is the one where dark water is. <laughs> Doesn't okay. work. I must have missed something. Okay, so. Go up. Uh, go down a little bit. Go down, go down to the right, just where that compass is. You want to hover over it? Where the comp oh, right here? here? Yeah, it would be. So, yeah, somewhere Doesn't around work. That we should look up the puzzle actually. because this this yeah, part of the this part of the map is yeah. almost over, and I'd like to finish it before you have to go. So go up a bit. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it should be somewhere there. Because see how it says forty-five and thirty, or forty and thirty. Yeah, it's hard for me to see. The problem is, is I can't read the text. I must have missed something. It's like slightly like near the center of that compass is where you want to be. Oh, right near the center of the compass? No, like, yeah, but you want to be like kind of on the other side. Doesn't work. Oh, this side? I must have missed yeah. something. No, no, yeah. Down. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. We just figured it, like it out. Oh, did it work? Yeah, we opened it. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. We didn't even need to look well it up. Done, Pierce. Hmm. Hmm. 
There we go. Made it. Oh, this is chapter four. Um, you want to end here? Or um, we got we only got ten more minutes. Or do you want to keep See? going? Okay. If we got ten minutes, we'll finish it. Okay. Yeah. Thank um. Thank you for. I hope um. Yeah. Let's play this again um next week because I know you take the weekends off too. Yes. Yeah. And then um. I'll actually try and do more of my streams now at four, just so I always have someone with me. And then uh, we'll we'll play this right. And then yeah. um, after we finish it, we could probably do like Mass Effect two together. That would be awesome. That'd be good. Yeah, time. I had a lot of fun. Let's see a complete playthrough of Mass Effect. So yeah, because uh, you said you wanted to go for the second one, because I'm almost done with the yeah. first one. Yeah, so we'll yeah. do this. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you everyone for watching. We are gonna go. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. Seek